What up, Nation? Happy Friday to you all at the time of this recording. Uh, it looks like we could have something really good happening for AT&T. I want to give a shout out to Mobile Master Tech, uh, Terrell, who actually tagged me on this. And it, he said he's able to indicate it based on this permit in his area. Uh, AT&T is indeed going to deploy an Ericsson dual band uh, radio. And this is shocking because we know that AT&T has the C-band in a 3.7 frequency range. And they also have the 3.45 frequency range. And these two frequency ranges don't actually have radios that can uh, broadcast both frequencies. So initially, AT&T had indicated that we would be getting those these uh, this year. And then we got an update from, I think it was Mike Dano, from like the manufacturers, the vendors, Nokia, Samsung, and Ericsson. And they indicated that they wouldn't have these dual frequency range radios ready until at least another year. But according to this, and, and this is what he shared, you know, and tagged me on, this indicates that it is going to do both frequency ranges, which would be huge because then they could save on tower space, tower weight, uh, you know, in terms of all the gear that goes up there. It just makes it a more efficient setup. And we just received notification that this wasn't going to happen for at least another year. So this is kind of shocking in a good way if this is indeed confirmed. Now, this the interesting thing here is this. This dates back to March 16th, Linda Hardesty Fierce Wireless, where Ericsson has asked for permission from the FCC to create a radio that would do both frequency ranges, the 3.45, the 3.7. So Ericsson actually indicated that they hadn't yet started producing these because you have to get the FCC clearance to do so. The, they permit it. And uh, I'm assuming, maybe, possibly, just on the low, Ericsson was able to get the clearance from the FCC in the last 30 days because it's April 15th, right? And this is dated March 16th. I guess they got clearance possibly in the last month and then started production. Uh, these permits, uh, like what's being shared here, typically take you know several months for the work to actually be done. Uh, so they put in for these these plans and then they go ahead and get, you know, make the arrangements and the scheduling for the tower crews to go up and put up the actual hardware. And, uh, you know, if there's going to be a fiber backhaul upgrade, you know, you got to get transport to do that. And there's different companies and different crews that are involved. So th this here's the thing. What is this all about? This would improve AT&T's efficiency. They're going to have a single radio unit that's going to be able to do both frequency ranges. And that is exciting for them. Uh, it does cut some cost. It obviously, you know, does a lot of efficiency good for them. And this is what we wanted to see. So at and said they would have it. Then the vendor said they wouldn't have it. And now we're seeing that we are going to have it. I'm not calling this conclusive. I'm going to wait and see what actually happens here. But maybe at and is right. Maybe they do have this all coming up here in Q3 later on this year. But again, this is only Ericsson. Can't speak to Nokia can't speak to Samsung, you know, every market is different. And in fact, my market, AT&T, is Nokia. So this doesn't help me one bit, but it may help you if you're in Florida. So if you're in the great sunshine state of Florida, you might be seeing these and enjoying these. What do you guys think? What do you think the situation is? Maybe you're in the know and you're in the industry and you may have heard some things about this or you have some understanding as to how this is playing out. Uh, let us know. Comment down below. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Please do like, share, and subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Twitter handle, my email, and my Patreon page. Support us there and get early access to content exclusives not found anywhere else. And that's it. I hope you guys have a great weekend and happy holiday season if you celebrate. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace.